You're only as healthy as your mind. Create a Christian meditation practice and self-care morning routine that supports your emotional, mental, and spiritual health. Visit thechristianmeditator.com to learn more. Hi, my name is Rhonda Jones. Are you feeling overwhelmed or burdened by stress or anxiety and desperately need some time to reset, release, and relax? If so, I want to invite you to join me for my 10-day Christian Yoga Challenge to reduce stress and anxiety. Over the next 10 days, I'll guide you through a series of poses and postures known for their restorative, calming, and uplifting effects integrated with scripture and prayer to help you keep your mind on Father God. For the word says, He will keep the imperfect peace whose mind is stayed on thee because he trusts in me. Whether you've been practicing yoga for a while or you're a beginner, this challenge has something for you. So I hope to see you shortly and have a great day. My name is Rhonda Jones, and thank you for joining me for day five of my Christian Yoga Challenge to reduce stress and anxiety. And for those of you who have been joining me for the past four challenges, you know that we are doing poses and postures that promote health and well-being, stealing and quieting the mind, releasing toxic energy, building our confidence, and uplifting our spirit. And we do that in 10 to 12 minute Christian yoga practices. So let's go ahead and get started. Today, we're going to start in hero's pose. So come on to your knees. And I have a little group on my group today. Come onto your knees. Now, if your knees are feeling really tight, a block or even a pillow can be really helpful. You can actually sit on the block. Or you can place a pillow in between your legs. So, if you need to do that, go ahead and do that. So, let's sit nice and erect lifting through our spine, do a few shoulder rolls, so relaxing the shoulders, pull shoulders up to your ears, back and down, and begin to integrate the breath, and let's go the other direction, and two more back. your hands in front of your heart. Let's take a deep inhale as we lift the hands up, palms together, and exhale. Let all that air out. Inhale. Breathing in that fresh, wonderful air to help cleanse us from the inside and out. Bring your hands back to prayer as I open us up with our scripture and our prayer for today. You can close your eyes just for a moment as I read our devotion. Hebrews 3 and 6 declares, We are God's house. Heavenly Father, too often we are seeking for you in all the wrong places. According to Hebrews 3 and 6, we are your house and your spirit lives and dwells within our being. Help us to allow you to move freely within us, becoming a reflection of your love and a light to those around us. your eyes and bring your hands just above your knee, moving into a seated cat cow. So we'll inhale as we extend the chest forward, the tailbone back, chin is up, and then exhale, begin to round the back, pull the belly button in, and 
pull your chin towards your chest. And inhale, move forward. And exhale, rounding that back. Bring everything towards the center. Inhale, expand and open. And exhale, contract. Integrating the breath, deep inhales and exhales. Let's come back to our neutral position, moving into a side stretch here, opening up the lateral sides of the body. So let's inhale, so we lift up our hands, palms together, begin to stretch over to the left, plant that left hand, slide it a few inches to the left and then bring the right hand up and over and breathe begin to breathe into the right side of your body we're opening up the body and allowing the breath to come in and just regenerate and refresh us Palms together, extending through the spine. Exhale as we begin to stretch now to the right. Notice if any of your hip bones are lifting up. Press those back down into your, your heels or into your block. And we inhale. And hands to pray. Come up onto all fours into tabletop. Walk your hands out about six inches in front. Curl the toes. Everything is about shoulder and hip width apart. Take a deep inhale. On the exhale, just lift your knees about an inch off your mat. Couple deep breaths here. On your next inhale, begin to straighten the legs up, come up onto your tippy toes, and then bring your heels down towards your mat. <clears throat> Make sure that you're pressing into the balls of your hands so the movement is pressing up the energy is moving from the arms up through the tailbone and then down through the heels. And begin to pedal your feet, stretching out the back of the thighs. Relax your head and your neck and everything just fall towards your mat. And come to neutral position. Look up at the top of your mat and then bring your right knee to the mat. Begin to swivel that knee and that foot back behind you. And your extended leg, flatten it out. Place your right hand underneath your right shoulder and with your left arm begin to extend it up into a gate pose. Now you can stay here or ground yourself in that right hand and lift up your leg. You can stay here or bend that left knee back behind you. Take hold of it with your foot and then press into that foot opening up the left side of your heart, breathing into the space. Let's release that. And lower. Plant both of your hands, shoulder width apart, 
Swivel back, extend both legs, coming into a high push-up. Deep inhale. Exhale, chaturanga or knees and chest. And we'll lift up slightly to a baby cobra. Press those elbows into your side. Feet pressing into the mat. Inhale, lifting up. Curl the toes and lift back up into downward facing dog. Let's do the other side. Lift up at the top of your mat. Bring this time the left knee down. Swivel it behind you as you rotate the body, flatten out that extended foot. Place your left hand underneath your left shoulder. Extend the right hand up. Now you can stay here. Lift the right leg. Stay here or bend that right leg back behind you. Take hold of it with your foot. Press your foot into your hand, opening up the right side of your chest and breathing deeply into this area. And let's release. Bring both hands down in front. Step back into our high push-up or plank and press back into downward facing dog. Look up at the top of the mat, roll the body forward, bring the right foot right in alignment with those fingers. Left knee down, flatten out the foot or you can also keep it, stay on your toes. Inhale. Lift up the body, bring the hands just above the knee. Check to make sure that your ankle is right below that knee. Make any adjustments. Then we'll inhale, lift. And exhale, bring our hands to heart. From here, we're going to move into a twist. So deep inhale. On the exhale, twist the body to the right. Begin to hinge forward, lower, gently resting your upper arm onto your thigh, pressing both hands together and elbows are parallel to one another. Remember to breathe. Let's inhale back to neutral, plant the hands. Now lift up, straightening the back leg, pulling your head towards your knee for pyramid pose. Deep inhale, exhale. Bring the left foot to meet the right. Standing forward bend, bring opposite hands to elbow and rock gently from left to right. Come back to neutral position, plant your hands, shoulder width apart, step back into plank, and then push back into downward facing dog. Look up at the top of your mat, roll the body forward, Bring the left foot in alignment with the fingers. Right knee down. Inhale, begin to roll, lifting up. Bringing the hands above the knee. Again, checking to make sure that your knee is right above the ankle. Inhale, we'll lift. Exhale. Hands to prayer. Inhale. Exhale. Twist the body to the left. Gently resting the upper arm on that thigh. Pressing palms together. Elbows on top of each other. And breathe.
Inhale, back to neutral. Bring our hands down. Step back into plank. Bring both knees down. Crisscross the ankles and come to a seated position. Great job. Let's close ourselves out with our scripture for today, which is Hebrews 3 and 6. It says, we are God's house. And so as you go about your day today, I just want you to meditate on that, that the Holy Spirit lives on the inside of us and wants to guide us, direct us, fill us with God's love, light, and wisdom so that we can live from the inside out instead of allowing all those outside influences to guide our decisions. So have a wonderful day, and I look forward to working out with you on day six of the challenge. Start every day focused, refreshed, and renewed. Visit thechristianmeditator.com. Also, please like and subscribe to this channel.